hey guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well i hope you had an amazing christmas i'm filming this on the 29th of december i literally feel like i don't know what day it is but like that time between christmas eve and probably jan the first second is a major blur but i'm enjoying it i'm not complaining so i finally I'm going to be filming room by room and showing you guys all the decor plans I have for the house. And this is also a mini update on the house. I think we moved in about four months ago. I think we've just hit four months, so it's been a while. And to be honest, the last four months, it's been very busy with like change, Ava changing schools. And we had a really long school run. It was about three hours a day that I was doing and working and juggling Yara on top. So. Um, I feel like not a lot has changed but a lot of organizing and decluttering has happened in that four months so we have made progress so you guys better get ready for the home decor hauls vlogs um, DIYs there is so much happening probably in the next couple of months so if you love home decor then you're gonna love what I have planned so I'm gonna show you around each room like I promised when I first moved in and I'm going to put inspo pictures of all the ideas that I have for the house so I hope you guys enjoy it so the style I have in mind is a Scandinavian style with a mix of modern and glam more Scandi with a little bit of modern and glam mixed in I really love the Scandi style and because a lot of our walls are like a warm kind of beige color it would just look perfect with it so i'm going to start upstairs with you guys because the kids are settled downstairs so i just want to use this time to film upstairs while it's still quiet so as you go up you can see we've got this really high wall which i love and then we've got this window over here so as you can see i've already put some vases here with some flowers and that was from the old flat I really like how this looks so I will be keeping that as it is I might probably just add some diffusers here why am I out of breath I literally just took a few steps up the stairs but yeah but this is my Christmas pounds crying at me I'm sure I've put on like five pounds over Christmas so anyway the plan I have for this wall is to get a really big artwork here um, as you can see it's really high so I don't know how big the artwork can be I know if you go quite big it can get quite expensive and I'm not trying to spend a lot but the plan would be to get like really big artwork here just one if not and that doesn't work then I might do like a little cute family gallery wall here but I really like this especially like when you walk up and see that um I'll show you this properly actually so that's how that looks and I think it looks really cute so going up the stairs if you remember there's a boiler cupboard in here it's a bit of a mess so i'm not going to show you guys i might show you once i've kind of organized it so next is the bathroom let me see shall i put on the light so hey guys <laughs> um there's not much to be done in the bathroom because there's not much that i can change but as you can see all of this clutter here i'm not feeling it i hate clutter so much um we've got storage under here so a lot going on under here that needs to be organized. I need to get some shelves to divide the products up. But after living here for four months, I've realized that I hate having to go down here every time I need products. I know it's not far, but it's quite annoying for me. So the plan that I have is to get like two little shelves here, one for my products and one for Lewis's products. And that's just gonna be products that we need on a daily basis. And I'm gonna try and get something that's not a shelf actually, but more like closed off and hopefully it will be like self adhesive so it can stick and come off the wall when we move out and i'm hoping it will be about that long so it'll fit quite a lot of products and then that will free up sorry i've closed it that will free up a lot of space down here as well but i'm gonna properly organize this at some point and i'll show you guys um another thing is so we've got a lot of our shower stuff here so again i'm gonna get some self adhesive like shower corner thingies you guys know what i'm talking about to go over here that will literally clear up this space so the biggest project in this room because nothing much else is going on other than organizing it is i am going to be putting um contact paper on this um, unit i don't like how it looks it looks very old school and i'll probably be changing the handles too i have marble contact paper already from like an old project i did ages ago so i'm going to be using that so that's going to probably be a diy maybe bathroom organization video coming up for you guys so moving on to the toilet there is not much going on in here and it's such a small room that 
you know, I don't really need to do much in it. I am thinking of changing the floors. I found um, some really nice laminate on Amazon with, with a really nice design. I'll put it up on the screen like I will with everything else. So that's going to be another DIY job coming that I'm going to be doing and I'll film it for you guys. It's a really like, it's a really nice black and white design. And then I'm going to move these flowers and probably put it in the girls room, maybe spray paint them pink to go with their theme. And I'll get a black vase to go with the black and white floor. And then I'm thinking of putting up artwork on this side. And this is actually what I need your help with. So I've got um, two really big pieces that I'm thinking to put one on this side, one on that side, but I don't know if it's overkill for such a small room. So please, please, please let me know in the comments. Would you just put one big artwork on this side or do you think it's okay to put two? And they're two different prints, but they're both subtle prints. Um, they're one's like a, one's a white print with a quote in, written in black and then one's like a stem of a flower um, drawn in black as well. So it's the same color. So let me know what you think. So that's the only plans for this room. I'm gonna change the floor and it'll be easy to just pull up when we move out of this place. So it will be renter friendly. So the next room, sorry, it might be a bit echoey now, is the girls room. And me and Lewis have just decided after Ava just got in our bed last night because she was cold and Yara sleeps with us at the moment. So there was four of us in the bed. We decided we need to start in the girls room ASAP because we need our space back. So this is how the girls room is looking. And I'm just gonna throw up the inspiration that we have for this room. I saw this design on Pinterest and I just thought, oh, that room is so beautiful. And then two months later, I came across the actual lady that designed the room for her daughter. So I'm gonna put up a picture of the girls room and we're basically just going to try and recreate that room. So we're gonna put the wallpaper up against this wall, just like the picture. Um, there's gonna be a bed here and a bed on that side. And the middle is gonna be exposed. So I don't know if I'm gonna put like a little cute low cabinet for them for extra storage. And I might put a round rug in the middle. And Ava got a really nice dollhouse for Christmas. It's actually bigger than we anticipated it to be, um, which I'll show you guys when we go downstairs. So I'm thinking to put her doll's house here. If it's too big for that space, then the doll's house is going to go there. And then that's pretty much it because they have so much storage, all of their clothes is going here and we're not trying to do too much to this room but just try and make it look pretty and girly. Um, and then above their beds actually, I'm going to be putting these above their beds. So I've already got one for Yara that we used on her first birthday. I'll link it up above if you're interested to see how that looked. So I need to get one for Ava and we'll probably spray paint it gold I'm guessing. So that is their room. So the next room is our bedroom. And as I just mentioned to you guys, we're doing the girls room first. So this is the room that we want to do next because I'm going to be losing a filming room. The girls room was my filming room and it's been amazing, but they need to be evicted from our room. So the next room is this room because I want to create a cute little filming space over there where you see Ava's bed and that basket there. So the plan is, is to change this bed. We've had it probably for about seven years and it's not the color we wanna go for. Plus we wanna upgrade to probably a king size bed because we have the space for it. So I will throw up some pictures of the potential beds I have in mind, but we are going for like a beige tan headboard and I've seen some really nice beds. Next up, I want to get two black side tables. There's a girl, um, there's a girl I follow on YouTube. Her name is Hilux Low. I remember seeing her bedroom and thought it looked amazing. So I'll try and get a screenshot from her bedroom. But I think she has the vibe with the beige bed and the two black um, side tables. And there was also another girl on Instagram. So I'll try and find the, the pictures of that. Um, and then next up, to be honest, I'm not sure what we're gonna do with this wall. So there's an option of putting up pictures or maybe to panel it to make it look a little bit more interesting, but I just feel like it's such a blank space. So I'm not really sure what I wanna do, but I'll put up some inspiration pictures anyway. Excuse me, I'm filming. I'm filming. <laughs> Anyway, moving on. So as you guys know, I've already got built-in wardrobes, which is perfect. So moving on to this corner, I'm thinking of putting a beautiful, I think they're called like cloud chairs. 
a beautiful cloud chair i've seen one from made i've seen one from cult furniture i'll put the options that i've seen here so that chair will go right there and then i want to put like a big massive artwork here and then maybe like a lamp next to the chair so i'll show you guys inspiration pictures of how that looks like and if you just imagine that bed not being there i'm just gonna have like a lot of empty space there and like with all the bedrooms i don't think i mentioned this we're going to have long white flowy curtains going all the way to the floor so it just makes the windows look bigger than they are and then to also put a net on all the windows as well and then here hubby wanted to get a tv but i'm not really down for tvs in the room i don't know why and because we're going to put a tv in the spare room we don't really need one in here so I, i'm not sure yet <laughs> that's still an ongoing debate but i'm thinking of getting a really tall like round mirror and i just think that would look amazing but um we'll see we'll see who wins that battle but hopefully it's me so in the last room upstairs let me just put on the light if you guys watch my um declutter video organization video for this room if not i will link it above it's still pretty much looking the same i have added a few things in that corner that's all like hauls that i'm gonna be doing soon but it's pretty much the same things and a lot of this stuff is going in the alcoves downstairs in the units downstairs which i'll show you so these are just like basically waiting for a home but um this is how this room is looking and this room is going to be the practical room in this house before i thought it would be a filming room but um i think i'd need four bedrooms to do a filming room so i've kind of organized all the clothes in our wardrobes which is these ones over here and i've realized i've got too many clothes to share like a wardrobe fully with lewis so we've decided to get a wardrobe here we'll probably go to ikea and get like a really basic but nice wardrobe and that is going to be like most of lewis's clothes if he wants to keep some clothes in the bedroom that's fine as well and that actually works perfect for him because he leaves at 6 a.m to go to work so he can come in here and get dressed without like interrupting anyone so we're going to have a wardrobe here and then we're going to have a single bed here. I'm thinking of buying a bed that pulls out into a double bed in case like two guests stay over. So there's going to be a single bed here regardless. And then over here, I'm going to get like a, a little, I literally want to have like the smallest computer desk ever just to have my computer on something. But I'm not really like fussed about like doing too much in terms of creating a home office. So I'll probably get like a literally like a little computer desk to go here and you'll see in a minute that i've got a computer desk downstairs in the sitting room but i think it'll be too big for this space so i'm going to get a little computer desk there and then here we're going to put up the tv that we have downstairs on the wall here so this room is literally going to be a bit of everything it's going to have a wardrobe in it for lewis's clothes it's going to have a bed for guests it's going to have my computer here to work and then it's going to have a TV for all of us to come and chill here. Well, well, not all together, but if someone wants to come and chill to like watch TV, like if Lewis wants to come and watch football alone, he can come in here. So we are now downstairs and this is the front door. So the plan that I had for this space originally was to put a nice little um, table here with a mirror, a round mirror there. And the plan was, was to remove this. And put it over on this side but then i realized that removing this was going to be a lot of work to then move it to that side and then have to put it back when we moved out and i didn't really want to damage the walls i also realized if i put the coat hook over on this side it would reflect in the mirror anyway and it wouldn't look that nice another thing i realized after living here for like a couple of weeks and months is that we need storage for our shoes this buggy isn't staying here we're actually getting yara a toddler buggy so that's gonna go and her new buggy will be able to fold up and go under the stairs but it's just there temporarily so we definitely need somewhere to keep our shoes so the new plan is is to get like a bench with shoe storage here and i'll put up a picture for you on the screen and then coming down into the corridor which leads to the kitchen and the living room I'm thinking of doing that I did I just said with the um, table and mirror here potentially I think it will be like one of the last things I do so it's between doing that if not and I really want to keep it simple I might just put a plant here with um, a few pictures over here so they're the two ideas that I have for this little section here so next is the kitchen and to be honest let me put on the light 
there's not really much to do here as you can see it's like you know it's a pretty nice kitchen there's not much to change the only thing like the bathroom that i need to do is like declutter all this stuff on the countertops um that needs to go in the garage there's a lot of things that just need to be sorted out and organized there is something i realized after we had settled in is that this kitchen as you can see it doesn't have many drawers this is the only drawer the kitchen has so potentially i might get like a little unit here that has pull out drawers but i will take you guys along on that journey if i do the one thing that i might do in this kitchen is actually put um down some marble paper on the countertops i've seen a lot of people do videos like that but these countertops they they stain so easy and i'm not even joking this is not anything that was hot we're super careful in this kitchen but I don't know me myself i do not like wood worktops they look nice don't get me wrong but i just feel like they're very fragile and this is a rental and we just don't want to ruin the worktops and we're here for like two years potentially so but my landlord has mentioned that he is thinking about redoing the kitchen and he'll let us know if that's something that he may do while we're still here so as cool as it does sound to get a new kitchen, I don't know if I want to be in the midst of building work in a kitchen that I do not own. So <laughs> that has given me faith that if I do put down laminate on the countertops, he probably wouldn't care if we left it there when we moved out. Or the same way, we can probably just leave the worktops bare and it won't matter anyway because he's going to be redoing the kitchen at some point. But I just don't like the way this looks. Look at that. And that. So the next room is the living room, which you guys know is my favorite room. And I feel like this one's gonna be the most fun to decorate, but the most challenging. I'm just like walking over to show you guys how huge this room is. So, um, are you waving? <laughs> I've got these guys drawing so they can leave me to film. So starting off with this room. So as you um, enter here, this side is obviously the living room and right now I have all the old furniture from the flat so if you guys watched my flat tour as I was moving out um, I showed you how the flat looked like and as you can see from that flat tour I'll link it up above that um, there wasn't a lot of room so we took the furniture that we had from the flat which has been amazing because we haven't had to rush and buy furniture and just rush the whole, pro whole process so it's really helped me but as you can see well i hope you can see i don't feel like gray goes with the walls the walls are this kind of like brown color i think you can see it better there but the lighting's a bit off um and like i said before the tones are going to be like brown wood tones with black and i really do like that type of decor and the fact that the walls are a brown color has kind of sealed the deal for me in terms of the decor that i want to go for so these are our old sofas we've had them for seven years either way we would have been getting rid of them but for now they're perfect so the plan for this side of the room and i'm going to include pictures as with everything else i want to have two separate single chairs here with a little table in between them so the people sitting there can put like teas and drinks on there i'm actually thinking of leaving this um rug for the living room because i really like it i don't want to get rid of it if i don't keep it for the living room it will definitely be for the dining room which i'll show you guys shortly so this is potentially staying here this side i want to get a really long sofa here because we're having the two single chairs here i'm only going to have a long sofa here i'm not having another sofa there and so as you can see over there we have the computer desk there that um, is potentially going to be going upstairs in the space I showed you in the small room but I kind of feel like it's too wide for the small room it'll just take up too much space so I think we might actually be getting rid of that and then in that space I might have like a nice little simple table with a mirror possibly or some hot artwork going there I'm not too sure at the moment um, but I will throw up some ideas and then on this side, I'm not planning to have anything here. I want to have some really nice, long, white, light and airy curtains or possibly like an off-white light and airy curtains going down here with a net, of course. Um, and I might potentially put like a bench there. Not very sure. There's a lot of potential, but I'm not very sure. But um, there is this amazing living room that I saw that I'm going to put up a picture of, but it's just goals. Like there's two living rooms. I'll put a picture one after the other that I like, that are just goals to me. Um, another thing actually, going back to this wall, 
I'm actually thinking of doing panelling on this wall but um, I've seen one DIY renter friendly panelling video and it looks pretty easy to do so I am going to definitely be doing three panels on this wall. I actually found my dream dining table for this space and it was like the perfect design, not too overpriced, I think it was about 450 for a dining table with eight chairs or possibly six chairs and it was so stunning but I can't find the link and it's annoying me so I'm gonna try and find the exact dining table and if it's the exact one I'll put it up right now and if nothing's gone up right now then I will include pictures of other like dining table um, inspiration pictures that I've found online but um, hopefully I do find a link and I can show you guys so then the other plan is to just like put pictures up here and then on the other side put pictures up here i'll see how the paneling looks on that side and if i really like it and it's not like overkill then maybe i'll put some paneling up here but that's not really in the plan but i'll definitely be putting pictures here and on this side as well so moving on to the play area so i'd say from kind of like there to all the way here is the play area so all this bit here so this unit here is definitely staying i'm going to change the boxes to pink ones these boxes are from b and q so i'm going to go back to b and q and get the pink version of them their kitchen is gonna probably go over here actually i think i might put that unit over here as the heaters over there and then i'll put the kitchen there um, they also have this little seating area and to be honest I think this is the only piece of furniture that we've bought since we've moved in here This um, little cute set is from eBay and I'm planning to buy like two more chairs for when their cousins come over Oh, I forgot this is the dollhouse that I was talking to you guys about upstairs This is Ava's Christmas present. So as you can see, it's quite tall and then there's a really cute picture I saw with um, similar table and chairs and a nice round rug there so that's the vibe i'm going for and depending on if it's not too overkill i might put some cute um art for kids there but because i'm gonna have like a lot of artwork all over it might be too overkill but if it feels separated and it works i will do it but that's why i said this room is the most challenging room because it's one room together and i'm trying to split it into three separate rooms but for it to still gel really nice together i hope you guys enjoyed the little update of the house let me know what you think of all my decor ideas i'm super super excited to get started i'm definitely going to be taking advantage of the christmas and new year sales going on i probably might try and order the sofa as well and i'll probably take you guys along doing sofa shopping if we ever get out of tier four but um yeah i really want to take advantage of like discounted sofas so i hope you guys enjoyed i have also I nearly forgot i've also started a home account so i will put it on the screen please guys go and follow my home account also follow my normal account which is regina london blog thanks for watching and thanks for your support as always i'm almost close to a thousand subscribers so i really do appreciate you guys watching and supporting my channel and i will see you in my next one bye guys <laughs>